This final week is really about full length exams and detailed review of those exams. Nothing more, nothing less. This is not the time to try a totally new course of action or a totally new approach. This is not the time if you've been reading the stimulus first to start reading the question stem first in logical reasoning, for example, or to start doing a totally new diagramming strategy for logic games. This is about just rinse and repeat what you've been doing over the past few months at least. I, hopefully you've been studying for at least a few months, if not more. So regardless, this final week is about just doing timed exams and timed sections and review of those. And so I'm going to send you actually a customized plan I've put together specifically for what to do in the final week starting tomorrow. So tomorrow, Wednesday, take a full length timed exam or a few time practice sections and review them. Then take a day off along with maybe a little bit of review. Then Friday, take another timed exam. Saturday, review it. Sunday, rest. Monday, go in and destroy it. And of course, also make sure that you're properly taking care of yourself. So sleep, diet, exercise, exercise, mindfulness, relaxation, all of those are extremely important not to be overlooked. If any one of those things is not totally in sync and in check, then you're likely to run into problems on test day. The LSAT requires that you be 100% on your game. If you're even a little bit tired or hungover, or you're having some family crisis or emergency or something with a significant other, let's say you had a fight with somebody right before walking into the test, that could, of course, affect your performance. So definitely, I would say, make sure all everything in your personal life is squared away as much as possible and you take this final week to get it all squared away if anything is not already. So if you can take Friday off from work, obviously if you're working, you're, you'll take Monday off because you're taking the exam Monday. But if you could take Thursday or Friday off and just relax, make it a longer restful weekend, definitely do that. Go for a walk in the park, take a hot bath, get, get a massage, do yoga, whatever relaxes you, I would suggest doing that. If you go on my YouTube channel, I actually have a, a relaxation and meditation playlist. I also have a test day mindset playlist, and I'll pull those up for you and just put them in the chat here because I do think this stuff is often too overlooked, but it's actually really important. So I'm going to share both of those playlists with you here, one for motivation and one for relaxation, meditation, mindfulness, all that good stuff. If you haven't been meditating, I would certainly recommend it. Even just five minutes a day can make an enormous impact, even just the next couple of days, the next week. And I know this schedule I've laid out for you might look a little bit light. You might be saying, could I do nothing more than two full-length timed exams in this final week? Would that be enough? And I say, honestly, that is enough. And if you review the way I recommend reviewing, which is in a tremendous amount of detail, then that's great then that will be more than enough. Otherwise, you could do a single exam. You could do, I wouldn't do three exams, that'd be too many. But real review takes time. Let's say you got 10 questions wrong and got a 170 on a practice test, but there were another 15 where you guessed and maybe you got a little bit lucky. Those are still well worth reviewing. And so you've got 25 questions to, to potentially review that could easily take three to four hours or longer if you're doing it properly, which really is a full day of study. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.